Overview Mass Effect is an action role-playing game developed by BioWare and originally released for the Xbox 360 in 2007. It is the first game in the Mass Effect series, and takes place within the Milky Way galaxy in the year 2183, where civilization is threatened by a highly advanced machine race known as the Reapers. The player assumes the role of Commander Shepard, an elite human soldier who must stop a rogue agent from carrying out the Reaper's galactic invasion. The game involves completing multiple quests that generally involve space exploration, squad and vehicular combat, and interaction with non-player characters. Planned as the first chapter of a trilogy, Mass Effect was developed over the course of three and a half years, and uses the Unreal Engine 3 as a groundwork. It was designed so that the player would assume the role of a central character that could make important decisions and impact the story of the game in numerous ways. The combat was designed to offer the tactics and customization of a role-playing game, but through a simpler and real-time third-person shooter interface. In 2008 and 2009, two downloadable content packs that introduced new missions to the base game were released. Mass Effect received critical acclaim, and sold over 1.5 million copies by January 2008. Critics praised the game's interactive storytelling and cinematic design, but chastised its unbalanced combat mechanics and poor artificial intelligence. The game received several year-end awards, including Best RPG at the 2007 Spike Video Game Awards and Role-Playing Game of the Year at the 2008 Interactive Achievement Awards. Mass Effect was ported to Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 3 in 2008 and 2012, respectively. It was followed by the sequels Mass Effect 2 in 2010 and Mass Effect 3 in 2012. In 2021, Mass Effect was remastered as part of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Gameplay Mass Effect is a single-player action role-playing game in which the player takes the role of Commander Shepard from a third-person perspective. Shepard's gender, appearance, military background, Combat training and first name are determined by the player before the game begins. There are six different character classes for the player to choose from and each of them have different talents that provide enhanced combat capabilities. For example, the soldier class is trained in weapon damage and has improved health, while the sentinel class is trained in protecting and healing allies. At one point in the game, Players may evolve their base class talent into one of two specializations, which depend on the class chosen by the player. Although any class can use any weapon type, each class is only effective with the weapons they are trained in. The game's overworld is a galaxy map that the player can explore to find and complete quests. Most of the quests that progress the story consist of combat missions, while optional quests generally involve the player gathering items or interacting with non-player characters. As the player progresses throughout the game, six squad members become available, each with their own talents that can be developed. Experience points are gained in multiple ways, such as completing quests, defeating enemies, or finding and collecting items around the environment. Each time a sufficient amount of experience is obtained, the player levels up and is awarded a number of talent points that can be used to develop talents for both Shepard and the members of the squad. Each talent has 12 ranks that can be unlocked, with each rank costing one talent point. The player's primary mode of transportation is a starship which serves as Shepard's base of operations. Aboard the ship, the player can interact with the squad members, buy new equipment, and travel to numerous planetary systems. Although the game features a large number of planets for the player to examine, only a few of them can actually be landed on and explored. Some of them can also be surveyed to search for valuable resources and quest-relevant items. Upon landing on a planet, the player can traverse on foot or by using an all-terrain infantry fighting vehicle called the M35 Mako. Most of the game's main quests are geared toward on-foot combat, but some segments may feature combat requiring the use of the M35 Mako. In contrast, secondary quests usually require the player to explore free roam uncharted worlds with the vehicle. Equipment items, which include armor, weapon, and ammunition upgrades, can be found around the environment or purchased from merchants in settlements. Combat in combat, the player can pause the action to display the squad's user interface and calmly select different powers for the squad members to use. The squad's health bars and shields are displayed at the bottom left corner of the screen. 
Combat in Mass Effect is squad-based and two squad members accompany the player on the battlefield. The player has direct control of Shepard while the squad members are controlled by the game's artificial intelligence. Battles take place in real-time, but the player can pause the action at any time to calmly target enemies and select different talent abilities for the squad members to use. The game uses an over-the-shoulder perspective akin to a third-person shooter, and features a cover system which allows players to strategically hide behind objects while fighting enemy forces. The player may also issue orders to the squad members, such as sending them to take cover behind an object, scout ahead, regroup, or focus their fire on a designated target. Weapons range from pistols to shotguns, assault rifles, and sniper rifles. Although all of them have unlimited ammunition, they overheat if fired continuously for prolonged periods. In addition, the player can use grenades which latch onto targets or flat surfaces to be remotely detonated. Shepard and the squad members are protected by a health bar and damage-absorbing shields. The health bar only takes damage once the shields have been destroyed, but environmental hazards like heat or toxic agents may directly affect the health bar if they are not negated entirely by wearing appropriate armor. The health bar can be restored with the use of items called medigels, while shields automatically regenerate when not taking fire for a brief period. Some talents and equipment items can improve the healing rate or shield regeneration. The player can revive fallen squad members with the use of the unity talent. However, if Shepard dies, the player must start the game again from the last saved point. Dialogue and morality during conversations with characters. Mass Effect employs a radial command menu, called Dialogue Wheel, where the player's dialogue options depend on wheel direction. The left side of the wheel is normally reserved for options that will continue the conversation in depth, while options on the right side tend to move the conversation towards completion. Responses at the top are generally more polite and selfless, while those at the bottom are more aggressive and hostile. Dialogue choices impact how others react to Shepard and affect the player's chosen morality. Morality is measured by Paragon, Charm, and Renegade, Intimidate points. These points allow the player to develop talents that affect the availability of new special Paragon and Renegade dialogue options with significant impact in the game. Synopsis setting and characters Mark Muir and Jennifer Hale provided the voices for the male and female protagonist of the game. Mass Effect is set within the Milky Way galaxy in the year 2183 where interstellar travel is possible through the use of mass transit devices called mass relays, a technology believed to have been built by an extinct alien race known as the Protheans. The term, Mass Effect, is defined as a form of mass negating technology, allowing the creation of physics phenomena like artificial gravity or FTL travel. A conglomerate body of governments known as the Citadel Council controls a large percentage of the galaxy and is responsible for maintaining law and order among races of the galactic community. Races that belong to the Citadel Council include humans, Asari, Solarians, and Turians. Other alien races seen in the game include the reptilian Krogan, the environmental-suited Quarians, and a hostile race of networked artificial intelligences called Geth. Humanity is represented by the Systems Alliance, an organized body that joined the galactic community in 2157. The protagonist of the game is Commander Shepard, voiced by Mark Muir Jennifer Hale, a graduate of the Systems Alliance Special Forces program and a candidate to become the first human member of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Spectre Force, agents given broad authority by the Citadel Council to protect the galaxy. Shepard's squad members include Human Systems Alliance Marine Caden Alenko, Raphael Esbarge, Human Systems Alliance Soldier Ashley Williams, Kimberly Brooks, Turian Citadel Security Officer Garris Vakarian, Brandon Keener, Krogan Mercenary Erdnot Rex, Stephen Barr, Quarian Mechanic Talazora, Ash Shroka, and Asari Exorchiologist Liara Tassoni, Ali Hillis. Other characters include SSV Normandy Captain David Anderson, Keith David, and SSV Normandy's pilot Jeff, Joker, Moreau, Seth Green. Plot Shepard and Caden are sent to the human colony of Eden Prime to recover an unearthed Prothean beacon. They repel an attack by the Geth, rescuing Ashley in the process. Saren Artarius, a rogue Turian Spectre, activates the beacon before escaping. 
Shepard reaches the beacon and receives a vision of war and death. The SSV Normandy and its crew are summoned by Ambassador Donald Adina to the Citadel station, but Shepard is unable to convince the Citadel Council of Saren's treason without solid evidence. Shepard rescues Talai, who possesses a recording of a conversation between Saren and Asari matriarch Benezia. The two discuss their victory while also mentioning an artifact called the Conduit and the return of the Reapers, a highly advanced machine race of synthetic organic starships believed to eradicate organic civilizations every 50,000 years. The Council revokes Saren's Spectre status and makes Shepard the first human Spectre. Shepard is given command of the Normandy by Anderson, and begins to follow leads provided by him and Adina in pursuit of Saren. On the planet Theorem, Shepard rescues Benazia's daughter Liara Tassoni, who joins Shepard's squad. She provides Shepard with better understanding of the vision from the beacon. On the colony of Pharos, Shepard acquires the ability to comprehend and interpret the images seen in the vision from a former subordinate of Benezia, and learns that Saren's flagship, Sovereign, possesses unique mind control capabilities. On the world of Novaria, Shepard tracks down and defeats Benezia, who reveals that she and Saren are being indoctrinated by Sovereign. Meanwhile, the Council informs Shepard that a Solarian infiltration unit has uncovered Saren's main base on Vermeer. Upon arrival, Shepard learns that Saren has discovered a cure for the Krogan genetic disease, the Genophage, and plans to breed an army of Krogan warriors. Rex confronts Shepard over whether to destroy it, which results in him either standing down or being executed. Shepard then assists the Solarians in destroying the base by planting a bomb in it. Inside, Shepard is confronted by Sovereign, who reveals itself to be a Reaper. Sovereign reveals that the Reapers remain outside the galaxy waiting for organic life to develop and discover the mass relays, before harvesting them when they reach their peak of advancement. Afterwards, Shepard must choose between saving Ashley or Caden, who have both been pinned down. Shepard also encounters Saren, who claims that his allegiance to Sovereign will save organic life forms by demonstrating their usefulness to the Reapers. On the Normandy, Liara pinpoints the Conduit's location, a Prothean world known as Elos. There, Shepard learns from a Prothean virtual intelligence v named Vigil that the Citadel is actually an enormous mass relay that the Reapers use to invade the galaxy. During the last extinction cycle, a few Protheans survived on Elos via cryopreservation and then re-entered the Citadel via the Conduit, a reverse-engineered miniature mass relay disguised aboard the station as a statue. The Protheans sabotage the Citadel to prevent the Reapers from remotely activating it, which Saren plans to undo in order to trigger the Reaper invasion. After fighting through Geth forces at the Conduit, Shepard confronts Saren at the Citadel. Saren is either killed by Shepard or commits suicide depending on Shepard's actions. The Destiny Ascension, the Citadel's flagship with the Council on board, then requests assistance. Shepard must either risk heavy human casualties to save them or sacrifice the Destiny Ascension to allow Alliance reinforcements to concentrate on Sovereign. Sovereign then reanimates Saren's corpse to attack Shepard, while fighting off Citadel forces. Eventually, Saren's corpse is destroyed, incapacitating Sovereign and allowing it to be dispatched by the Alliance. For prevailing, humanity is either invited to join the Council if it was saved, or becomes its new leader if it was left to perish. Regardless, Shepard can nominate either Anderson or Adina to this new leadership position before leaving the proceedings, vowing to end the Reaper threat. Reception upon release, Mass Effect received critical acclaim from video game publications. The game's interactive storytelling and cinematic design were highlighted very positively, while the combat and vehicle navigation were generally seen as the game's weakest features. Although the visuals were credited for their dramatic set pieces and evocative soundtrack, critics noted the game's inconsistent frame rate and long loading times. The combat was generally criticized for its unbalanced mechanics and poor artificial intelligence of the squad members. The inventory management was also a subject of criticism, with 1UP.com describing it as painful and tedious. The galaxy exploration was favorably compared to the 1986 adventure game Starflight and the number of optional missions was highlighted positively but the Mako sections were disparaged for their rocky planetary design and clumsy combat mechanics. The Microsoft Windows and PlayStation 3 versions of the game received similar criticism to the Xbox 360 version. Sales in the United States Mass Effect debuted at number 6 on the NPD Group's video game sales chart for November 2007, 
with sales of 473,000 copies. The SIM exchange had previously forecast 328,000 sales for the period. By the following month, the game was absent from NPD's top 10. Mass Effect proceeded to sell over 1 million units worldwide within fewer than three weeks on shelves, according to Microsoft Vice President Jeff Bell. Sales rose to 1.6 million copies after six weeks of availability, and VentureBeat's Dean Takahashi noted in March 2008 that the game was expected to cross 2 million in sales, generating an estimated $120 million. In November 2008, the game's Xbox 360 version received a gold certification from the Entertainment and Leisure Software Publishers Association, indicating lifetime sales of at least 200,000 copies in the United Kingdom. In April 2011, it was reported that both Mass Effect and its sequel have combined sold more than 7 million units worldwide. Accolades Mass Effect received several year-end awards, including Best RPG at the 2007 Spike Video Game Awards, Role-Playing Game of the Year at the 11th Annual Interactive Achievement Awards, and Best RPG at the IGN Best of 2007 Awards. In addition, the New York Times selected Mass Effect as its Game of the Year. In 2008, IGN editors ranked the game number one on their list of top 25 Xbox 360 games.